Good afternoon. At this time, we politely ask that you silence your, or turn off your cell phones for today's ceremony. On behalf of the Columbus Grove Board of Education, administration, faculty, and staff, Columbus Grove Local Schools would like to welcome you to the 143rd commencement ceremony for Columbus Grove High School. High school commencement marks a significant milestone in a young person's life. Graduation represents the end of your high school career and begins your journey into adult life. What an end to a high school career it has been for the class of 2021. You will hear a lot about the challenges our students face this year from our class speakers created by the COVID-19 pandemic. I'll be the first to say that it was an unprecedented school year with a lot of unanswered questions thrown our way. But now that I've had time to reflect on this school year, I want the class of 2021 to know how much we appreciate them. This class had every reason to complain or make excuses about the circumstances they were faced with. Instead, they accepted it for what it is and made the most of it. Never did a single complaint from this class reach my desk. Even when the, pan the pandemic continued to force schools to cancel events such as homecoming. Rather, what I heard from several students was appreciation for the school who was working to have a homecoming court since we couldn't have a dance. I believe this speaks volumes about the character of this group of individuals sitting on this stage today. What I'll remember most about this class, though, is the way it responded to adversity. It was this response that assures me that you are ready for this next phase of your life. We didn't just survive this school year, we thrived by demonstrating the strength and resiliency of our school and community. In a pandemic year, you were able to accomplish a state semifinal football team, state cross country team, state wrestling qualifiers, including a state champion, state boys basketball team, regional girls basketball team, seven straight PCL softball championships, state track qualifi qualifiers, including a regional boys track title, with more business to take care of next week. We also brought back a musical, band concerts, and choir concerts, and are hosting an in-person graduation ceremony. Now that our country has, looks to turn the corner and put this pandemic behind us, I believe when I think back on the graduating class of 2021 in a school year where the COVID-19 also tried to defeat us, like so many other things, we simply found a way to win. This concludes my opening remarks, which were a little longer than most years, but let's be honest, everything about this year has been different. My main job today is to keep this ceremony, move, ceremony moving, so that is what I'll do. To get our program started this afternoon, I would like to invite any senior band member to join the rest of the band to play our national anthem. Following the national anthem, Zoe Stecksholte, vice president of the senior class, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, after which Lauren Benrow, who is our senior class president, will then deliver the student welcome. Once you stand, please remain standing until after the Pledge of Allegiance.
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The graduating class of 2021 would like to welcome all of you here this afternoon. Whether a parent, a relative, friend, or teacher, we thank you all for the support and encouragement that has helped and guide us and inspire us throughout this year. We deeply appreciate everything you've done for us and your attendance here today it means a great deal to us. Each year, all members of the senior class are given the opportunity to speak at the graduation ceremony. This year, the committee selected four students to speak today. Please allow me to introduce to you the first speaker for the class of 2021, Emily Shoemaker. Following Emily will be our second speaker, Sarah Dipnerin. Both Emily and Sarah are honor graduates. You'll hear more about them and the other honor graduates later in the program. After Sarah's speech, will be a vocal performance by the Columbus Grove High School Choir. The choir will be singing We Won't Stop Dreaming, directed by Mrs. Kristen Verhoff and accompanied by Mr. Sam Black. Hello, and welcome to the commencement of the class of 2021. We are so grateful that we were able to celebrate this special moment with all of you. I know that having our graduation ceremony has been no easy feat, and I'm truly grateful that I'm able to stand here with all of you today. I never thought this day would come. It's truly surreal that we're graduating. When they say that high school goes by in the blink of an eye, they aren't lying. Over the last four years, I've seen my group of friends get smaller and smaller as they graduated. It was so strange to return to Columbus Grove High School without the friends that had graduated the previous year. They were great role models, and I feel like they paved the way for us to be the same to those coming behind us. I'm so proud of my class for the leadership and dedication they have shown over the past four years. I know that we're probably tired of hearing about COVID-19 and how much it changed our lives over the last year or so, but I do want to take the time to brag on my class a little bit. COVID-19 has greatly impacted our junior and senior years in high school. There were some things we had to miss out on, such as spring sports seasons, prom, homecoming, and in-person instruction. There were things we had to learn, such as how to manage our time when working from home, how to take tests virtually, and how to properly use Zoom. I feel that our class handled these challenges with grace and minimal grumbling. We had our own proms. We held our musical in the summer, and we fought even harder to do well in the following sports seasons. While it's sometimes been hard to see the best in our situation, I feel that the obstacles that we have faced will only help us to become better students, better workers, and better people. And if COVID did not do that, at least we got out of taking the state government test, right? Our class has certainly been through a lot together, good and bad. I'll never forget the memories we'll make, we've made here. I mean, who can forget the day that the AP History class dressed up like Mr. Mayberry to celebrate finishing the AP History test? Or the many sports victories we've celebrated in the town square? Although we learned how to do math and how to write thesis, we've learned our way around Columbus Grove High School as well. We learned that it's not a good idea to fall asleep in Mrs. King's class unless you'd like to wake up to a tap dance performed by Mrs. King in her high heels. We also learned that Spanish class is more about eating queso than the conjugation of tener. Senior year, we learned how it feels to be at the top of the totem pole, as Mr. Seaver would say. And next year, we'll, we'll, we will learn how it feels to be back at the bottom. 
Now it's time for us to take our place among the generations of alumni that are proud to call Columbus Grove their alma mater. This day is bittersweet as we reminisce on the memories from the last four years and look forward to the future. We've experienced many lasts as we've closed out our high school career. However, this ceremony marks the beginning of a season of many firsts. I'm looking forward to see how each and every one of you grows into your full potential as you enter the workforce, enlist, or go to college. Columbus Grove, thank you for the memories, thank you for the lessons, and thank you for the challenges that have made us into the people we are today. We're going to give the choir a minute to get there, so we're not rushing them. First, I would like to begin by saying thank you. Thank you faculty, staff, friends, and family for being here to help us celebrate the moment we have all been waiting for. I've watched graduation for the past three years, and I've listened to the speeches given by students. They always say thank you, but there is one thank you that I always feel is forgotten. This thank you is the most important one in my eyes. Thank you to my classmates. These amazing individuals who are sitting behind me have been there for the past 13 to four years. They have impacted me in ways that no one else could have. They made me the person you see standing before you today. Whether it was good or bad, they affected me and they shaped me. These individuals have been there for every day I've stepped, every day I've stepped into this building and they have always been there to welcome me with smiles, and I never had to be nervous. They are what has made my time here at Columbus Grove unforgettable. They were there for every paper I turned into Mr. Mayberry and Ms. Clevenger, every lab I did in Mrs. Baumgartner and Mr. Hassan's rooms, and they were there every time I thought the world was ending because I did not understand what was going on in Mr. Schrader and Mr. Bremer's rooms. These people behind me are unmatched in many ways. They have taught me lessons that I could have not learned without them. They taught me how to be a friend, a caring individual, competitive, and they taught me to push myself beyond my limits. The, next, the lessons that each of us have learned during our time here will help us thrive with the next steps of our lives. The impact my classmates have made on me is one that has left me sad to know I will not be walking into a classroom full of familiar faces in the fall. For the past 13 years, I have walked into this institution and knew exactly what I was going to see, and I was always excited to come to school because of them. They are here to welcome me with smiles, like I'd said earlier. But next, fall, next year, we will all be going to college, the workforce, or enlistment, and be surrounded by unknown faces, and we'll have to start the process of making friends all over again. My classmates have not only made their mark on me, but we, as a class, have left our mark on Columbus Grove. We have obviously made an impression on the football field, basketball courts, and track, but that is not the only impression we have made here. We walked into high school and were deemed the golden class. Every teacher we have had has been sad to see us go and has not wanted us to leave. And I can guess the high school teachers are feeling the same way right about now. We as a class have set a new standard for the future classes. My class is one that will not soon be forgotten. I am proud to call myself a member of the graduating class of 2021 here at Columbus Grove. So to close, I would like to say a few last words to my classmates. Each one of you is going to do amazing things with your lives, and I'm excited to see what the world brings for you. Thank you for everything that you have taught me. And thank you all for being out here today to help us celebrate this moment. And have a good evening. <laughs>
Next, I would like to present to you our third graduate speaker, Katie Schrader. Following Katie will be our fourth speaker, Lauren Wishmeyer. Katie and Lauren are also honor graduates, the class of 2021. It was the best of times, and it was the worst of times. Some of you, especially my AP English classmates, may recognize this quote from a book we read this year, a book which, I'm sorry, Ms. Clevenger, I do not plan to pick up and read again after I have graduated. Because, I must confess, reading that book often felt like the worst of times. However, cramming 50 pages of reading into two study halls just before it's due is just one of the many parts of my high school experience that I did not plan on. I never expected that I would be here in front of all my friends and family at Grove giving a speech, especially since I gained the nickname Tomato due to the shade of red my face turns when I'm nervous. Before I came to Columbus Grove School, I spent seven years at St. Anthony's with fewer than 20 classmates, and so I was terrified when I had to face the start of junior high at CG. I remember feeling legitimately worried that I would somehow get lost in the school on my first day. However, my fears were eased thanks to the multitude of friendly students and faculty at Grove. I can say with confidence that there was never a moment when I did not feel welcome or accepted, and so I thank each of my teachers, coaches, classmates, and Mr. Best and Mr. Verhoff for the spectacular way they represent this school. They made my high school experience feel like the best of times. Aside from reading in my free time and giving this speech, there are quite a few events from the last four years that I never expected. I never planned on playing intramural basketball for four years, especially with my lack of coordination, nor did I expect to receive a championship IBA shirt two years in a row. I definitely have my teammates to thank for those shirts. Some of them were really amazing three-point shooters, and others were really good at messing up the scoreboard in our favor. I never planned on being Mrs. Wine's teacher's aide as a freshman, nor did I plan on hardly breathing at all during that class period. I'm certain that Grace Sellhorse and I spent more time laughing than we did being productive teacher's aides. Who knew that a game of monkey in the middle using an orange from the cafeteria could keep us entertained for so many days in a row? Conquering my fear of sliding down the banisters is something else I did not expect to accomplish this year but I did, thanks to Cody Tabler, during our study hall. Zoe Stechelian, Zoe Stechelian and I also had the honor of watching Cody's library parkour instead of doing homework. Mr. Best and Mr. Verhoff, you may be wondering what else goes on during study halls that we didn't know about. You might already be aware, but we've been playing Euchre and Uno at least weekly in our free time. I had no idea that Euchre, a game I have watched my grandparents play for years, would become my favorite way to waste a study hall. Obviously, there's another part of my high school experience that I never saw coming, the COVID-19 pandemic that has become such an immense part of our class. We all know there were times this past year when we wanted to ask, why us? Clearly, there were days when we felt down, especially in the fall when the noise in the hallways decreased and the absence of half our classmates set in, or when our friends disappeared for two weeks in quarantine, and of course when sports and activities that we looked forward to most were up in the air. Eventually, however, our class was able to make the best of this year. It didn't take long before our motto became, it is what it is. We took advantage of the pandemic and our hybrid schedule by making late night trips to Taco Bell on Tuesdays and sleeping in every other day. When we finally came back to school full time, we were lucky enough to receive weather that used all of our calamity days. On one of those days, Lauren, Brianna, and I made the journey to Dunkin' Donuts at about 30 miles per hour only to get stuck in the snow. Other highlights of this year have been bringing back the chocolate milk mile and taking a business trip to Top Golf. As a class full of athletes and kids with immense school spirit, we also made the best of this year 
through extremely successful sports seasons and the throwing of an insane amount of toilet paper in the town square. I cannot leave CG without saying thank you once more to everyone who had an impact on the amazing past four years it has been, especially to my parents who pushed me in school, helped me get through all the ACTs and AP tests, and kept their cool when I procrastinated every paper I ever wrote. I could not have done it without them, as well as each member of the devoted faculty we have at CG. And of course, it would not have been the same without the other members of the class of 2021. Looking back on my years at CG, I really believe, and I think my classmates would agree, that it truly was the best of times. Welcome students, parents, siblings, grandparents, and any other family. Welcome teachers, faculty, and staff to the commencement of the Columbus Grove High School Class of 2021. It is my honor today to deliver this speech for this incredible student body. We thank all of you for being here to support us today, as well as the support you have provided us the entirety of this year. We could not have done it without each and every one of you. As we look back on the years past, we experience nostalgia. We remember our first day of school, our first friendships, and our first field trips. We remember thinking we were all grown up and at the top of the food chain when we started eighth grade, and boy, were we wrong. We remember cheering on the football and the basketball teams from the student section, yearning for the day that we would finally stand in the front row. Spoiler alert, COVID-19 ruins all of your student sections. We remember homecoming week with all of our festivities, performing in school musicals, and we will reminisce on other special memories for years to come. Of course, some moments were stressful and upsetting. The first time you took an exam, losing a game in your sport, or receiving a less than desirable grade for an assignment you worked so hard on. There was the stress of taking an AP test, I don't think, I think most of us slept the night before, and the general annoyance of a group project. This, of course, was all leading up to March of 2020, where we would have gladly taken the stress and troubles to spend more time with our classmates and friends. In March, we were suddenly faced with an unforeseen situation, COVID-19. The state basketball tournament was forced to an end. We were told we would be completing the rest of our academic year online. Some of us were suddenly out of jobs as our employers were fo forced to close because of the virus. We missed spring sports and our junior prom. Every student here could say that they lost something. As the virus continued to spread into the summer, our fears only grew. More events were canceled, and we began to wonder if we would even attend school in the fall. Although the year began as normal with the addition of masks, we were forced into a hybrid schedule pretty quickly. Sports could continue, but spectators were limited. We couldn't watch our classmates play, and players could not hear our cheering voices in the stands. There were no homecoming festivities other than court. Class trips were canceled, and we'd not see half of our classmates for months. We lived in constant wonder and fear of what might have to be canceled next. In these moments of disappointment, however, we persevered and we triumphed. We watched multiple sports teams and individuals compete at the state level with some state placings and state champions. We held a school musical again. We experienced our first high school prom. We prepared for college and won scholarships. We op opened a coffee shop and business class. Even in this world we are living in, we made this year ours. We found a sense of normalcy, even if it wasn't our normalcy of the past. Adversity will come in all shapes and sizes for the rest of our lives. It is inevitable that at one point we'll be have, we will be required to overcome an obstacle in our path. If there is one thing I can be sure of, is that the class of 2021 will be one of the most prepared and determined classes in all of Columbus Grove High School's history. On the other hand, we will also be one of the classes that will know how to deal with disappointment the best. You win some, you lose some. We all have triumphed in our own way. Whether the accomplishment was large or small, we will all have something to be proud of and we can all share in a common experience. When we meet up again in five or 10 years, we will still have stories to tell. The experiences we have had are unprecedented. And although some were miserable, we have adapted and we have overcome them. We have become flexible, tenacious, and resilient. In a few short months, we'll be going off to college, entering the workforce, or enlisting in the military. 
We've all shared an experience this year that made us stronger. I discussed the trials and tribulations of high school, so here are some of my favorite memories. Keck doing the splits countless times, teasing Ezra for being too healthy, and the only rule we ever broke in the handbook, which was playing cards during class. Don't worry, there's no gambling involved. A few more is Dan Bills eating a chicken wing out of his pocket during freshman science, <laughs> Reagan breaking his chair in current events, and JT making a majority of his speeches in speech class about dinosaur chicken nuggets. I could make a whole list of memories here, but we would here be here for quite some time. I hope you can agree that the memories that you have made are ones that you will remember. In 20 years from now, when our children ask about 2020, we'll likely tell them to clear their schedules because we'll be here for a while. As our time comes to a close, I have some final messages. Thank you to the teachers for all the effort you provided to make our high school career a success. Thank you to coaches for encouraging us to work harder every day. Thank you to the faculty and staff here at CGHS for ensuring tasks were done properly and for all the other items you took care of for us. Thank you parents for supporting us every step of the way and never giving up on us. Thank you to all of our siblings or other family members who also secured our success throughout our education. The bad news is you will now have to continue to support us because most of us are about to rack up a substantial amount of student debt. Finally, I have a message to the CGHS class of 2021. I wish all of you the best luck in your future endeavors. I'm sure I'll see all of you again, likely in five years at our class reunion. It won't be just our class that we will miss. We will miss everyone who made our experience perfectly imperfect. I always knew when I looked back on the times I cried or I was angry during high school, I would smile and think about how insignificant it was. Now we will look back at all the times we smiled and we will cry. Even if we did not love every piece of high school, we'll be wishing we were back here as soon as we have to start adulting in the fall. All of the good things in life must come to an end, but I would not want to end it with any other people at any other time. These ceremonies are called commencements for good reason. The word commencement means beginning. We're all starting a new chapter of our life. I have great faith that we will accomplish great things when we leave here. My last parting sentiment will be a favorite quote, and it's by Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Class of 2021, go out and achieve your dreams. Congratulations to all of you. We did it. Graduates, family, friends, and staff, it's an honor to be part of the 143rd graduation ceremony for Columbus Grove Schools. And it's my pleasure to recognize the honor graduates for the class of 2021. But before I do that, I'd like to recognize one of our 2021 graduates who will be joining the ranks of our country's military upon graduation. Mr. Justin Flanders has enlisted in the United States Marines and will report to Paris Island, South Carolina on July 12th. His military occupational service will be combat engineering. So Justin, please stand so we can thank you for your future service to our country. You know, at commencement, I usually like to share a few remarks regarding our graduating class and I'll I'll just get right to the point and say, class of 2021, you are one of the best classes ever at Columbus Grove Local Schools, and some basic facts can attest to this. Mr. Best already listed the laundry list of um, athletic accolades that this class has racked up over the last four years. Additionally, we have 32 honor students in this class, which is an incredibly high number for a rather modest class size of 68 graduates. And then there are the other uh, observable day-to-day uh, -day behaviors and interactions of this class, which puts this group of graduates in another category. As Sarah Dipnareen stated, this class was one that teachers were sad to see move on. And she's right, that goes all the way back to their elementary years. This class's collective personality in general was one which they're just a good group of young people. One that made it easy for your community to root for, one that made you proud to be from Columbus Grove, and not just for your athletic accomplishments, but in the manner in which you carried yourselves and treated others. And as superintendent, I wanna say thank you on behalf of all the faculty here at Columbus Grove, because we are extremely fortunate 
that we had you as our senior class during this past school year. And graduates, what a year it was for you. It started off in early August as we still wondered whether there would even be a fall sports season. We had to wear masks and follow the numerous safety protocols that were implemented, which made a typical day at school feel anything but typical. We lived with a constant fear of being contact traced, knowing what the implications were if you did, in fact, get traced. We wondered how long we would be in school in session as in an in-person basis, and then after just the first two weeks of school, you spent the next four months of the school year in hybrid learning. But based on some of your comments, I guess that was not such a bad thing in sleeping in from time to time. This past fall, OMEA canceled the fall marching band competition season. In addition, our pet band was uh, only able to perform just a couple times this past winter. And as Mr. Best referenced uh, your numerous athletic accomplishments, yet two of the three sports seasons took place with significantly reduced crowds. And when you look at this class, they would have had an awesome student cheering section. So graduates, you had multiple opportunities and reasons to complain about the numerous challenges this past school year. Yet I believe Emily Shoemaker put it best when she stated that you handled these challenges with grace and minimal grumbling. And they even grumbled politely too. You should, I mean, it was something to be seen. They, great class. And I'm a firm believer, class of 2021, that the way in which you weathered these various tr the trials this past year is a key reason why this class sits before us today as one of the most accomplished classes in our district's history. We've heard multiple class speakers speak today about how this class has handled adversity. And as Katie Schrader stated in her speech, it was the best of times and it was the worst of times. And I think Katie Katie's use of this famous quote from the Charles Dickens novel perfectly describes the mindset of this class. In a world in which it can be so much easier to view what we've experienced over the last 15 months as nothing but the worst of times, this class took each situation, no matter how challenging, and just rolled with it. Class of 2021, you are a group of focused and goal-oriented individuals. You set your sights on what you wanted to accomplish, and you put in the work to make it happen. You faced obstacles admirably. You frequently carried yourselves in a humble and respectful manner. And as Lauren Wishmeyer mentioned in her remarks, you persevered and triumphed. And Lauren further stated that the class of 2021 will be one of the most prepared and determined in all of Columbus Grove High School history. And I don't think you could have said it any better, Lauren. So congratulations, class of 2021. Your praise is well deserved, and we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. At this time, it is my pleasure to recognize the honor students of the class of 2021. Honor graduates are seniors we recognize for maintaining at least a 3.5 grade point average for their entire high school career. When each honor graduate is recognized, we ask that their parents please stand. Our first honor graduate is John V. Banal. John is the son of Amy and Jay Banal. In the fall, John plans to attend the University of Worcester, majoring in engineering and continuing his football career. Derek A. Berkemeyer. Derek is the son of Steve and Beth Berkemeyer. In the fall, Derek plans to attend Ohio Northern University majoring in mechanical engineering. Dylan Berkemeyer. Dylan is the son of Steve and Beth Berkemeyer, and in the fall, Dylan plans to attend Ohio Northern University, majoring in electrical engineering. Tate M. Burnesser. Tate is the son of Kim and Tony Burnesser. In the fall, Tate plans to attend Ohio Northern University, majoring in civil engineering and continuing his basketball career. Megan E. Blankemeyer. Megan is the daughter of Jerry and the late Karen Blankemeyer. In the fall, Megan plans to attend the Ohio State University Lima campus with an undecided major. Tanner Blankemeyer. Tanner is the son of Corey and Lori Blankemeyer. 
Tanner has been accepted into the Grove Apprenticeship Program. Gabriel T.J. Clement. Gabe is the son of Jeff and Nikki Clement. In the fall, Gabe plans to attend the University of Finley, majoring in middle school education and furthering his track and field career. Morgan L. Deffenball. Morgan is the daughter of Darren and Dana Deffenball. In the fall, Morgan plans to attend Bluffton University, double majoring in elementary education and special education. Aaron E. Downey. Aaron is the daughter of Craig and Lynn Downey. In the fall, Aaron plans to attend Trine University, majoring in civil engineering and continuing her track and cross country careers. Adelaide L. L. Hawker. Adelaide is the daughter of Jeb and Adele Hawker. In the fall, Adelaide plans to attend Destiny School of Ministry, majoring in biblical studies. Lauren Elizabeth Wishmeyer. Lauren is the daughter of Jay and Sherry Wishmeyer. In the fall, Lauren plans to attend Bowling Green State University, majoring in communication sciences and disorders with an eventual master's in speech language pathology. Katie J. Schrader. Katie is the daughter of Troy and Lori Schrader. In the fall, Katie plans to attend the University of Toledo majoring in civil engineering. Sarah A. Dipnerin. Sarah is the daughter of Laura and Gary Dipnerin. In the fall, Sarah plans to attend Xavier University, majoring in biomedical sciences pre-med. Emily R. Shoemaker. Emily is the daughter of David and Amber Shoemaker. In the fall, Emily plans to attend Ohio Northern University, majoring in sociology with plans to attend law school. Lauren E. Benro. Lauren is the daughter of Brock and Ellie Benro. In the fall, Lauren plans to attend the University of Finley, majoring in marketing. Zoe J. Stechelde. Zoe is the daughter of Ned and Heather Stechelde. In the fall, Zoe plans to attend Bowling Green State University, majoring in math education and minoring in music. Ethan A. Hawker. Ethan is the son of Tanika and Brad Hawker. In the fall, Ethan plans to attend Purdue University, Fort Wayne, majoring in biology and continuing his track and field career. Zeke E. Hawker. Zeke is the son of Pete and April Hawker. In the fall, Zeke plans to attend the University of Finley, majoring in accounting and furthering his track and field career. Gabriel L. Hardiman. Gabe is the son of Jeremy Hardiman and Janelle Hardiman. In the fall, Gabe plans to attend the University of Toledo, double majoring in marketing and finance. J.T. Hart. J.T. is the son of Corey Fast and Angie Fife. J.T. has been accepted into the Grobe Apprenticeship Program. Blaine C. Huffman. Blaine is the son of Deanna and Todd Huffman. In the fall, Blaine plans to attend Owens Community College, majoring in accounting. Maggie C. Horman. Maggie is the daughter of Mark and Andrea Horman. In the fall, Maggie plans to attend Road State College to become a physical therapy assistant. Ezra R. Jones. Ezra is the son of Angie and Eugene Jones. In the fall, Ezra plans to attend Owens Community College to obtain his bachelor's degree and then pursue his master's degree at BGSU for supply chain management.
Trinity R. Copenhaver. Trinity is the daughter of Mike and Jessica Copenhaver. In the fall, Trinity plans to attend Wright State University, majoring in nursing. Emily S. McCauley. Emily is the daughter of Matthew and Karen McCauley. In the fall, Emily plans to attend Bowling Green State University, majoring in marketing. Cheyenne E. Mershman. Cheyenne is the daughter of John and Stephanie Mershman. In the fall, Cheyenne plans to attend the University of Finley, majoring in animal science pre-vet. Valerie Ann Mormon. Valerie is the daughter of Vincent and Amy Mormon. Valerie plans to enter the workforce after graduation. Blake R. Reynolds. Blake is the son of Randy and Jerry Reynolds. This fall, Blake plans to attend college, majoring in early childhood education and continuing his athletic career. Elena C. Ricker. Elena is the daughter of Todd and Sue Ricker. In the fall, Elena plans to attend Marietta College, majoring in biology and furthering her volleyball career. Grace K. Selhorst. Grace is the daughter of Kyle and Sonia Selhorst. In the fall, Grace plans to attend Road State College, majoring in nursing. Kennedy A. Smith. Kennedy is the daughter of Glenn and Lori Smith. After graduation, Kennedy plans to pursue a career as a pharmacy technician. Cody D. Tabler. Cody is the son of Dave and Christy Tabler. In the fall, Cody plans to attend The Ohio State University majoring in exercise science, then continuing his education to become a chiropractor. Please join me in recognizing the honor graduates for the class of 2021. At this time, I would like to thank several people who helped make this commencement ceremony a special day. Thank you to Mr. Keith Horner and his staff at the Apollo Career Center for their help and support with our Apollo graduates. Thank you to Dale Schrader and his maintenance staff who got this gym ready for today's ceremony. Thank you to Mrs. Pingle, our senior class advisor, Mr. Terry Schnipke, and our National Honor Society advisor, Mrs. Carrie Weisenberger, for your assistance with today's commencement ceremony. Mrs. Mindy Losh, Mrs. Brenda Bruce, and Mrs. Vicki Schrader, and our guidance department for the countless hours that you work to make sure our seniors are aware of the opportunities that are available to them. Thank you to Mr. Mike Keene for his technology support as we live stream this year's graduation. I would like to thank Superintendent, Mr. Nick Verhoff and the Board of Education for your endless support of our students. In addition, I would like to thank the faculty for challenging and preparing this senior class for today. And finally, to you, class of 2021 and your parents for your contributions to Columbus Grove High School during your academic career. So please join me in a round of applause for those individuals. Columbus Grove Board of Education, Superintendent Mr. Nick Verhoff, I certify that each of these young adults before you have met the requirements and standards of the state of Ohio 
in the Columbus Grove Board of Education, and therefore qualified and ready to receive their diplomas. John V. Banal. Derek A. Berkemeyer. Dylan Berkemeyer. Tate M. Burnesser. Megan E. Blankmeyer. Tanner Blankmeyer. Gabriel T.J. Clement. Morgan L. Deffenball. Aaron E. Downing. Adelaide L. L. Hawker. Lauren Elizabeth Wishmeyer. Katie J. Schrader. Sarah A. Dipnerine. Emily R. Shoemaker. Lauren E. Benro. Zoe J. Steckschulte. Ethan A. Hawker. Zeke E. Hawker. Gabriel L. Hardeman. J.T. Hart. Blaine C. Huffman. Maggie C. Horman. Ezra R. Jones. Trinity R. Copenhaver. Emily S. McCauley. Cheyenne E. Mershman. Valerie Ann Mormon. Blake R. Reynolds. Elena C. Ricker.
Grace K. Selhorst. Kennedy A. Smith. Cody D. Tabler. Abigail Renee Allen. Haley Basinger. Ashton Bermudez. Daniel James Bills. Ryan A. Bogert. Bowen Brubaker. Mackenzie M. Caton. Brady W. Clymer. Reagan A. Clymer. Kale Cottrell. Lyric O. Dickey. Joseph O. Edelbrock. Justin D. Flanders. Kennedy E. Flores. Zachary Joseph Fürst. Donovan Heckman. Skylar Helms. Braden K. M. Keck. Gunner D. King. Anissa J. Langhouse. Ian W. Langhouse. Brianna M. McDougal. Stephanie Lynn Messer. Jeffrey D. Meyer.
Ben Meyerholtz. Alexis N. Narker. David Charles Pohl. Elisa A. Price. McKenna S. Sager. Kylie and Schaefer. <laughs> Abigail Vogt. <laughs> Jordan A. Vogt. Graduates, if you would, please stand for the singing of Columbus Grove High School alma mater. I now invite Senior Class President Lauren Benro to come forward to lead the class in moving the tassel from right to left. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor to present to you Columbus Grove's graduating class of 2021. This concludes the graduation ceremony for this evening. Thank you to this senior class who we couldn't have asked for a better group to lead our high school through a school year altered by a pandemic. You are leaving here today having raised the expectations at Columbus Grove. To the 65 graduates here before us, Columbus Grove Local Schools wishes you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs>